everybody, it's Carrie with Seat to Spoon. I am so excited today to announce that we have released a new update for the app and it is an amazing one. This has been almost a year in the making. We have worked on the background of the app, making it all more stable. We've rewritten so many things and added a lot of new features. I'm very excited to share some of it with you today. So let's start today by talking about some of the new features that you're going to see whenever you upgrade the app. So first of all, the hands down, the most requested feature that we have had in the past is the ability to add your own custom plants. And that is now there. It's very exciting. You can access this in two different ways. On the main screen, you will notice the main plant screen. You'll notice that there's a little banner on the bottom that says add custom plant. So you can select it from there and enter in all of the information you want. You can do as much or as little as you want, but keep in mind that the more information you put in there, the more we can help you out. So if you put the dates to uh, before spring frost and fall frost, things like that, or how off or how fast it takes to sprout, we can help you calculate those things out whenever you say that you have planted it. And whenever you go to it too, it'll show the exact dates that you can plant it. So that'll be amazing right there. And then also on the My Garden section right there, you can put in there that you have planted your custom plant and you can add a custom plant straight from that screen as well. And another feature that we have gotten so many requests for over the years was the ability to see your planting dates on a calendar view. So what we have on the main screen, you'll notice that there's a new tab that says calendar view and you can go there. It'll, you can scroll through all of the different plants that will, that we have there in the app and it'll pop up all of the indoor planting dates, the outdoor highlighted in through the calendar view. And you can also access this view too if you go to one of the plants. If you go into one of our plants that we have, you'll go in there and down wherever we have the exact planting dates, you'll see the calendar view there as well. We've also done a lot of organizing over this past year to make the My Garden section able to handle really large gardens such as ours. So we wanted to make sure that it looked really organized, it was easy to use, all of that. So one of the first things that we did was the ability to have multiple gardens. So you can have one, two, three, how many ever gardens you have, front yard, backyard, you can split them up and you can organize it this way. So that way you can go through and see what you have in the front yard, in the backyard, maybe the side yard, wherever. So you have the ability to have multiple gardens. And then also there's a really good feature that I'm a really big fan of. And in this view, you can group them by plant. So instead of having them all listed out for you, you can have just the overall picture of, you know, broccoli, and then it'll show that you have five different broccoli plants and you can click into that to see all your broccolis. So that way it's just a little bit more organized. I love that because I have like a bunch of different broccolis, for instance, in the garden, and I didn't want to have to scroll through all of them. Um, so I love this view. It's wonderful. There's also still the traditional list view too for those that are fans of that way as well or that have smaller gardens and that's not necessarily a problem. So we have all of those new views for you. You'll also notice on the main screen that the ability to filter and sort is all different and new. That's exciting too because you can add multiple different filters and sorting functions on there at once. So for instance, you can do something that is cool season that is really good for a specific health condition. So something like heart health. So you can see all of the cool season crops that are really good for heart health all at the same time and you don't have to scroll through multiples. So this makes that a whole bunch easier to go through and select what you want to grow next. So you'll notice not only those changes, but just the overall look of the app has changed too. You'll notice that main screen, I think it looks a lot prettier. There's lots of pictures of the plants and the background of the names. It looks very pretty. And along with this, they have changed pretty much everything in the back end of the app. So they have improved 
the ability to go offline and we tested this a lot we tested it in airplane mode and it would work perfect so if you have any sort of issues with the internet going in and out everything will save now on the app and you don't have to worry at all about going offline or anything like that it will all automatically save and with that too if you have mul multiple devices that are logged into everything there will sync up so you can have your iPad and your computer and your phone, everything logged in. So each device will all show the same thing. We also fixed a lot of bugs related to adding a photo and changing photos and, and uploading photos, all of that. So all of that should now feel way different and it should be way better for you. And I'm really excited for you all to try out this new version. It is absolutely amazing. So you can now find this update on your iOS stores and Android. It is everywhere released, which is really exciting. And also too, the free preview that we've been doing for the past two years is now going to be a premium feature. And you can still go through and add three new plants to your garden and check out all of the new features, how great everything is working now. And two, whenever you upgrade, don't worry, all of your plants and information, everything that you've done, will still be there. You just simply need to log in and it will all still be there and you can see all of the information you put that is not going anywhere. So the My Garden tab, as well as the calendar feature are both gonna be two of our new premium features that we will be offering and one more to come. We are now wrapping up on reminders as well to be sending reminders out as to when to do certain tasks in the garden. And we are aiming for all of that to be released by the spring for the reminders as well as a new task view as well. That's gonna be going into the My Garden tab. We are so excited to share all of these new features that you guys have given us over the years. You guys have given us so many different wonderful ideas on how to improve this My Garden tab and everything else too. And we have many more to come. And if you guys have any other comments or suggestions, things that you would like to see, please let us know. Um, send us an email, put a comment down below on this video. And we would love to hear your feedback and hear any suggestions that you might have. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And I hope you love this newest update just as much as I do.